Would you laugh? Oh, boy, let's see. If this is it, please let me know. If you're not sure, won't you tell me so? This is it. I want to know if this ain't love, you better tell me so. This is it. Ooh. Please let me know you're not sure you better let me go. Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, it, it pays to be rich, don't it? That's what this article, you know, for all of y'all out there that's running from the federal government right now because you took out those PPP loans and um, at first they gave you two years to, I guess, get your act together. And now that they took 10 years to round all y'all up that got that money and they say you didn't need it. Um, you squandered it, or you went there and bought a bunch of jewelry, you know, squandered it off. Made the people that allowed you to have it feel like a fool, I, I'm assuming. Um, which makes you feel kind of insulted, because you know that that's not a need, and you know that you just want a false flag. And so, if you would have really got the money and helped and created some jobs, you know, I'm all for it. But this right here, this kind of took me aback a little bit because America's wealthiest, including Tom Brady, Khloe Kardashian, Reese Witherspoon, Kanye West, Nancy Pelosi's husband, took out millions of dollars in PP loan, even Jay-Z, and nearly all have been forgiven. They don't got to pay a damn thing back. They don't even have to even worry about it. Because, see, some of these are set up as loans, and some of them, it seem to be as set up as grants. Because that, what they just did, if you ask me, was a grant. And these are celebrities. I mean, this is insane. I think that's totally, I think that's totally out of order right there. Um, the Daily Mail reported um, this story. And it says now they can reveal how the exact amounts that these millionaires took out by a government program. Um, Kanye West Yeezy LLC borrowed two million three hundred sixty-three thousand five hundred and eighty-five. <laughs> yeah, uh, with one million seven hundred and seventy-two. Thousand six hundred eighty nine being spent on payroll. So what happened to the rest of it? Chloe Kardashian, denim brand Good American LLC, had a loan of one thousand two hundred forty five four hundred five approval in April twenty twenty, mostly for a payroll of fifty seven workers. The full amount plus interest was forgiven. In most cases, the loans have been forgiven, so the full amount, including interest, will not have to be repaid, despite the owner's wealth. See, now that that right there, I got a problem with that. Although I don't like the abuse, you know, that a lot of these young people did buying chains and stuff, which was ridiculous. I mean, buying cars and then flag, you know, flashing. But this companies of mega rich celebrities, including billionaires, Kanye West and Jay-Z, received millions and <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> millions in government PPP loans. And in virtually every case, the A-listers have been let off the hook for paying back the amount. 
for the first time, the Daily Mail can reveal the exact amounts of these wealthy companies got through, uh, through the payment protection program, which was set up for desperate businesses hit by the COVID pandemic. In all but two cases, we examined the company's words forgiven despite the star owners being multi-millionaires. The status of the others is unknown. The loan program cost U.S. taxpayers $953 billion, with the University of Texas estimating that 15% of the PPP claims around $76 billion was fraudulent. It was claimed that after the first round of PPP loans, up to 90% of the ethnic minority businesses were unsuccessful in getting a loan and were at the end of the line, according to the Associated Press survey, which showed a disproportionate amount of white people in rich areas being approved for a loan. You see this? Yet celebrities and their businesses had no problem. And then they get dismissed. I mean, this is, this is, this is disrespectful. Jared Kushner, his net worth is eight eight hundred million, but he got a PP loan for three million, and it was forgiven. <coughs> uh, P Diddy, nine hundred million, he got a PP loan of one million nine thousand nine hundred twenty nine thousand two hundred fifty two. It was forgiven. Paul Pelosi, worth $120 million. He got a $1,709,100 loan forgiven. Khloe Kardashian, worth $60 million. $1,245,405 was forgiven. Jeff Coons, worth $200 million. $1,000,000. Ninety one in two hundred was forgiven. One million ninety one thousand two hundred dollars was forgiven. Reese Witherspoon worth four hundred million. She got a PP loan for nine hundred and seventy five thousand four hundred and seventy two forgiven. Tom Brady one hundred and fifty million is what his worth is. He got a PPP loan for $960,855. And guess what? Ain't that coming up one of the year that he got that uh, big contract? It's forgiven. Now, Jay-Z and, um, uh, and Kanye West, it's unknown whether their loan was forgiven. But Jay Z again worth one point three billion dollars and he got a PPP loan of two million a hundred and six thousand three hundred and ninety-eight. Kanye West two billion and then he got a PP loan of two million three hundred and sixty three thousand five hundred and eighty five. Very interesting. Very interesting. But they got these loans rolled off. A loan will be forgiven, including a 1% interest through a complicated calculation based on the amount, how many employees were maintained during the coronavirus crisis, and on what the hours and wages were compared to pre-COVID. Kanye's one-time sister-in-law, Khloe Kardashian, denim brand, Good American LLC, had a loan, of course, I just said a, a million approved in April and it was for mostly payroll. But the fact that the full amount plus the interest was forgiven and her network is 60 million is not sitting well with me at all. At all. What do y'all think about that? Tom Brady, all of them. Jerry Kushner, and he just got what made a deal in with the uh, Saudis. 
Bitch. Man. Okay. And we have a hard time. Um, never mind. I ain't even going to go there. What y'all think about this? What do you think about this? And do you want your taxpayer dollars back? <laughs> All right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, uh, I know I want my money back.